We are at Baroque's Family Nature Park, a place that is known for its strict nude obligatory rules. Unless the weather doesn't allow it. And yeah, I mean, you can see and you can probably guess what kind of day it is today. But what can we do about it? This is Canada after all, but maybe this could be in our advantage because the place is packed and there are not a lot of people now around, so it's easier to film. This is the first thing that you see when you arrive at Barrocks, and this is the first thing that you hear. Welcome to Barrocks. you here for a visit? And this is also the shop where you can buy sunscreen, where they sell drinks, basically everything you need. And behind here, there are also some guest rooms. And right here is the Bear Bistro where you can have really good coffee, breakfast, lunch and dinner and some really good craft beers. The Bistro also has an inside part but we can't film there because people are having lunch right now. And right here is the Jacuzzi and the Sauna. Let me see. Yeah. Obviously they're quite popular today because of the weather but maybe we will show you later in the video. Right next to the bistro, you can find this place. I think you can call it the main common area. It looks quite empty, but it's because it's a weekday and also it's a little bit of a gray day. But you have to imagine, during the weekends on a sunny day, this place is packed. It's really hard to get bored here at Bear Oaks. There are a lot of things that you can do. To start, you can play beach volleyball because this court is quite a professional court. And when I say professional, I really mean professional because Bear Oaks is known for their professional volleyball games, international even. And I have to say, these are not kids games. It gets mm, pretty rough sometimes, although they do have kids games here. Because this is a family resort, obviously there are a lot of things for the kids that they can do, like this very beautiful playground, for example. They really encourage people to come together and connect. Everywhere around the campsite you can see these fire pits. And if you like to start a fire in a communal pit, you can just get wood at the reception. It's free, connect to people and have a good time. But if you want wood for your personal pit, you have to pay for it. So it's only free if you get social. Here's another professional volleyball court. And here is the mini golf court. And for a mini golf court, it's quite a big one. It looks a little bit like a tiny village. <laughs> and here is the lake. This is not the famous Bear Oaks Lake. That is for later. And on the other side is the swimming pool. And also here, it's quite obvious that this is not a great day. And then there are some small other games that I happen to be really good at. Told you. Behind the reception, well, they call it the clubhouse, you find another very interesting place. And I already checked it out this morning. And I can tell you, and I hope you can tell it too, but I really, really, really recommend it. This part of the park is called the Helios Circle and this is more of a residential area. There are no houses or buildings, technically they are still mobile homes, but you can see that people actually spend a lot of time here in the park because people build porches around it and they have these beautiful flowers in front of their houses. It's really nice. There are also two Patan courts here. I don't think I've ever seen anybody play, but the owner has a very strong connection with friends. So that is probably the, the only reason why they are here. This brings us to the most popular spot or the most popular common area in the park, I think, the beach and the lake area. And it took us a while to find the time to film here without people. And it's not hard to see why it's so popular. I mean, look at it. This lake is just surrounded by nature. Inside of the lake, you have this bubbly thing where you can slide off. It is 
pool with toys for kids. You have sun baths. There's this nice sand that they provide here. It's just a great spot to hang out. And even in this cold weather, a lot of people seem to swim in this lake. Is this the moment for your swim scene? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it's it. too cold. At least try. Okay, least I'm try. gonna try. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually not too bad and I can go for a swim, but yeah, I mean, we have to finish this video. It took a while, but we finally made it to the camping area of the campsite. There are several areas where you can camp and this area is more a rough area. Um, they call it um, an unserviced site, which is just in Europe a pitch without electricity. And this is a really cool tent, by the way. You can see that there are still quite some spaces left. Uh, the camp is full, but I think it's because of the weather that people just don't show up with their tent anymore. This area is mostly filled with service sites and you can see that uh, there are a lot of more people here. And also they stay in quite some big camper vans. They are huge. Wait, I will show you. Wait. Toilets and showers are provided all over the park. I can't film the inside showers, but the outside showers are cooler anyway. If you don't feel like camping in a tent or you don't have a mobile home or a camper van, you can always rent one of the cabins. Also here you can see that some people spend a lot of time inside of the park. Look, there's another one of these cool tents. Let's have a look inside. Wow, these people who live here must be really cool people. It's our tent. We will show you more about our tent soon on our other channel, Nick and Linz. Bear Oaks is the kind of resort that people visit to never leave again. But given its location in Greater Toronto, there are quite some things to do in the area. Downtown Toronto is just an hour away and on a sunny day make sure not to miss Toronto Island with its famous nude beach Helens Point. And even the Niagara Falls can be visited in a day trip. In the nearby towns you will find plenty of restaurants and supermarkets. The real naturist season in Toronto is roughly from June to September, but Bear Oaks is open year-round, so if you want to try winter naturism, this could be your chance. The best way to reach Bear Oaks is by car, although there is an on-demand bus system available that will drop you off at the front gate. For more information about this, it's better to contact the resort. If you are flying in, you will arrive at Pearson Airport in Toronto, where you'll find plenty of car rental offices or where you can get a taxi. For more details regarding bookings at Bear Oaks, check out the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tours of clothes-free resorts around the world.